from the Tribune News Network. This is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Tuesday's top story is the day before the first doses of the corona vaccine is scheduled to arrive in country. Another high-profile endorsement of taking it. It comes from Archbishop Patrick Pender, head of the Catholic Diocese. He's released a statement urging Bahamians to follow the Catholic Church's position on the vaccine and says those who are eligible to receive it should do so willingly. 20,000 doses scheduled to arrive tomorrow now. A donation from the government of India and Prime Minister Minis believes vaccination is the beginning of the end of the coronavirus spread in the country. The start of our vaccination campaign marks the beginning of the end of the emergency phase of the pandemic. As we vaccinate increasing numbers of our people, we will gradually and responsibly move away from one of the most difficult periods in living memory. The rollout expected within days of the arrival. Health officials reporting another 12 cases for Sunday, seven in Grand Bahama, three in the capital, two in the Barry Islands. Another death has been confirmed also, a 30-year-old Abaco man. That takes the total to 183 now. And there's another increase in hospitalizations. It's up to 22 now with one person in the ICU. Total cases for the country now past 8,500. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. We are now paying more for gas. Prices continue to go up in the capital with all dealers now at 4.52 per gallon. Another 10 cent increase for Esso and a 13 cent increase for Rubus. House members heading for the finish now of the lengthy debate on the government's midterm budget report. Education Minister Lloyd among those making contributions yesterday, urging parents to take a key role in education. The House should finish this exercise this week. The opposition PLP has announced that if elected, it will reduce VAT and increase minimum wage as part of its economic reform plan. That's already getting some pushback. The Chamber of Commerce's Labor Division head is calling that economic suicide. The FNM says the PLP is making promises it does not intend to keep. Grand Bahama police have found drugs disguised as children's snacks. They've issued a warning to parents to be careful about buying snacks. The fake snacks laced with marijuana and other illegal drugs. A couple has been taken into custody in connection with that discovery in Grand Bahama. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at tribune 242 Dot com. Now the Tribune's Thank You Weather Update, a service of insurance management. Partly sunny and windy again today. Highs from the low to upper 70s. 73 at Freeport, 75 in the capital, 78 at Matthew Town. Advisories are still up for boaters. Winds still up around 25 knots. The sea's still rough. Next tide is a high around 11 this morning. Next low about 5 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight. Lows from the low 60s to low 70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is Looking for a home, lot, or condo? Then pick up a copy of the Tribune's Home Buyer's Guide. Every Monday, your number one source for homes, condos, lots, and home care needs. Open the door to your dream home. Plumbers, electricians, tilers, and contractors. It's the perfect place to advertise your business. Call us today at 502-2356 to book your space in the Bahamas' leading newspaper. The Tribune, the people's newspaper. Tuesday's World News headlines. The Harry and Meghan Oprah interview has now played in full in Britain. And there's still no comment from Buckingham Palace on the allegations made by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, alleging, among other things, racism. The situation remains tense in Myanmar, with the military there still cracking down on protesters. And they continue to fill the streets. They're calling for help from the international community, including the United Nations, but it's not really clear what can be done. The coronavirus vaccinations continue around the world, but the virus continues to claim lives. Italy has become the sixth country to pass 100,000 deaths. The U.S. and Brazil lead the way. Tribune's gas tracker prices for Tuesday, Shell 4.52, Esso 4.52, Rubus $4.52 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Nice award for Kai Jones in college basketball in the U.S., 
Read about that. The NBA All-Star Weekend is over. Teams returning to play today. DeAndre Aiden and Buddy Heal going back to work. There's an update in the Tribune Sports on a report on Jazz Chisholm and his chances of starting for the Marlins in Major League Baseball, along with the latest spring training news. All in the Tribune Sports Tuesday. All of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.